was a cross into the area shortly before that. Well, as Wilson have given it away to Campbell. Now Dizarue looks to try and dig the ball out of his feet. It might fall for Mancini. The offside flag doesn't come. And the shot is smothered at the front post. Archie Matthews was able to gather it from inside his six-yard area as Mancini an intercept. Almost looks pulls clear, but again, it's straight to a yellow shirt. So forward come the Stones once more. Through the centre of the pitch, now Mason drifting out to this left-hand side. And Poole's in a good shape. I'm just trying to soak up some of this pressure midway through the first Whoa. half. Low ball in the penalty area that goes behind him. Rebounds up off of Mike Abiro by wide of the mark. Still, it's Portsmouth retaking the lead against Middlesbrough in the championship. So Portsmouth 2, Middlesbrough 1. Michael Abiro looking for a cross inside the area. It is a good one, but it's over the head of Callum Cissé and out for a goal kick. Just a reminder from the Stones of the threat that they possess. Yeah, I've been really impressed with the front two for Wilston. Um, bold win. And, and get uh, out. And, and but it is there. risky at times and, and they'll give the ball away at times. But it's obviously how uh, Taylor wants them to play. And it's good to watch as well, isn't it, the way they do it. And they've just hit a beautiful diagonal ball towards Kretschmer's oh, done that. really well to keep it in on the byline. Cuts it back inside oh. the area. And it's in. It's Mike Rabiro. But the goal was crafted by the hard work from Max Kretschmer on the byline. Slid in when it looked like he was going out for a goal kick. The endeavour from him to keep it in on the byline. Cut it back to Rabiro, who rolled it into the back of the net. And Hartlepool United concede their first goal in the National League this season and it's at home against Wilston. Pools nil, Wilston won. I have to say, Rob, it's been coming, hasn't it? I think if any team were, were looking like scoring, it was going to be Wilston. It was just a ball laid down. Opposition uh, the left the right hand side for Cissé. The yellow shirts have the momentum. Cissé low into the penalty area. It bobbles all the way through on the 18-yard line to Georgiou. Closed down by two blue and white shirts and Waterfall just stabs it away from inside the box, but back it comes. Cissé low into the six-yard box once again, and it's smothered down low by Dixon. It remains pools nil, Wilson one, but the visitors are in the ascendancy, Mickey Barron. Yeah, they certainly are, and it was a great ball across the box. Uh, Dixon's come well to come and get it's it on the floor. Boss pointed in the summer, coupled with the news that the club would transition to a, a hybrid training model to take them away from a part-time setup. And OK, it hasn't been the ideal start for their campaign, but Good it started well one. here. One. Sharon shot from distance, it just goes wide to the right-hand post. And that is the final action of the first half. So at the break, it's Hartlepool United so nil. Well, Wilston yeah. won the breakthrough so coming on the 38th minute when a diagonal ball Ferguson split the pool. Desirue and Gray inside the area. Now Mancini. Back to Gray, tries to find Mancini once more. Back to Ferguson and Mancini. Can he finish? He said he tries to pass towards Gray. Mancini still might get a chance, but he's fallen down inside the penalty area. Nothing given from the referee. And it's out for a pool's throw. As the ball down on the shot. He's got two yellow shirts around him. He finds Featherston. Now Hunter. Back to Ferguson on this left-hand side. Pool's attacking. Infield now for Featherston, who has space. Finds Sharon. Back to Gray, now Featherston into Desiree. Oh. We play on as Hunter can't settle the ball down inside the penalty area and it comes back to Mancini. Ferguson into the area, comes all the way through to Freeman who misses it and it drops out of Any play. play from Dan but it's a pull. On. Derby County Loney. Can I ask you a question, Rob? Go on. Why can't Manny get into the game? Why? Well, he might chance, get now. Chance. Sharon, low shot that's saved at the front post by Archie Matthews. A comfortable save in the end. Manny Desirue was there inside the area, but he's been watched every step of the way by Jack Cook. So Sharon went by himself. Well, to a comfortable play. save in the end. It's an in. And Tom Parks pulling the ball out from the back finds Ferguson, has a bit of space to run into, he's been quickly closed down, the pass takes a wicked deflection, Manny Desiree where it goes down inside the area, and the referee shakes his head, and there's some concern here for 
the Wilson defender. It's a Cook, isn't it? It's a Jack Cook, it's number two. Yeah, I think you're right. It's Cook, who is down. It wasn't a penalty. No. Oh, the 19-year-old. And he comes on for the final 12 minutes. Free kick to Wilston. Dyer into the penalty area towards penalty. Clark. To towards Cook, who goes down. The referee thought about a whistle. Instead, he chose not to. And Pools potentially got Just away with danger it. Danger being closed down by Hutchinson there, but gets back to Dixon. Dixon goes long, looking for Desirouet, controls it well on, on his chest, Desirouet, oh, the shot is palmed away by fantastic. Archie Matthews, what a strike from Desirouet, the move is still alive with Slugger at the byline, whose cross is blocked, and that has just lifted everybody inside the ground. Yeah, it was, a, it was a, just a long ball in, and Manny, he's done well just to control it, as he's dropped, he's, he's stepped away from it, give himself Seven some time. Minutes. We're into it now. Freeman with a diagonal looking for Waterfall. Down to Featherston inside the area. Just gets the ball taken away from him, but he still has it, Featherston. Back to Robinson. Featherston once more. Looks to try and dummy past his man, and he does. He fights his way through. Into the area for Dizarouwe! It's denied on the goal line! Not once, but twice! And then Freeman with a shot from distance. But what defending from Wilston throwing bodies at it there's a yellow card in there as well yeah, i think it's for dyer for complaining to the lies i think Wilson have a man it. down think, as he's pulls attacking with featherston out to ferguson on this left hand side he this delivers it. in that's this a good it. cross into the penalty area it bounces doesn't fall for sharon it might for featherston now freeman with a shot that's saved by archie matthews and he's kept hold of it he stopped it from going behind for a corner it looked like that was going to be the moment but pools denied by freeman uh, by archie matthews, matthews in the opposition goal during stoppage time darren sal waving everybody forward this is it long it oh, goes in. Manny in. It might be in can he finish Matthews, what a way to open your account for the campaign, Manny Desirouwe, it's Pools 1, it's Wilson 1. Early, he's just turned your head oh, a is there a winner? Joel Dixon goes long once again, this will be something, the flick on he header from Sloggett, and there is the full time whistle, a dramatic end to this game, Hartlepool United snatch a draw from the jaws of defeat, they went behind in the first half, one diagonal ball that ended up at the byline, a sliding challenge from Max Kretschmer to win it on the byline, cut it back for Mike Ribeiro who finished neatly inside the area and in the second half Pools really struggled to find their rhythm and find any real momentum or pattern of, pattern of play but